know most of you are back at work, but that doesn't mean that you can't make time for a romantic summer interlude in Durban. Kajal took up the challenge and came up with a plan that would comfortably fit into a day and an evening. Think Durban, think beach. But Kajal knew that her hometown has more to offer. At some point, we've all been gripped by the wonderful wanderlust, a strong desire to travel and explore the world. When you think of romantic getaway or lover's paradise, what is the first place that comes to mind? Could it be Venice, Paris or the Maldives? Maybe. But today I'm going to show you a few places right on our doorstep that says romance. So whether you have an hour or a day to spend with your significant other, Durban has something for you. So come with me as we explore the romantic side of the sunny East Coast. We did say that there's more to Durban than sea and sand, and even a cliché deserves a makeover. Horses are majestic animals, and whether you're a pro or a novice, a long walk on the beach on horseback is an experience for everyone. And with Durban's beautiful coastline, I can't think of a better way to start our day. I'm about to meet with Keegan Chetty, the second runner-up of Mr. India South Africa, and he's going to join us horse riding. Keegan, welcome to Mela. Thank you. Hiding Kajal. I'm very well, thanks. Are you familiar with horses? Have you ever ridden a horse before? I love horses, but I haven't ridden a horse before. Let's get to it then. It probably helps if you're both competent riders. Otherwise, you'll be accompanied by a chaperone. So sit back and enjoy the ride and the scenery. You also avoid getting sand between your toes or getting your pants wet when you splash through the surf, which can all dampen the mood of an early morning romantic rendezvous. By the end of the ride, Keegan seemed pretty comfortable in the saddle and he'd been a good sport about giving Kajal's idea a try. Well, I did say that was the perfect way to start our day and it certainly was. Keegan, what is your idea for a romantic getaway? A oh, romantic getaway? Um, I have to say, it's just remembering the little things, not actually where you actually go, but just remember what she says in the day for favorite treats. Of, it's just like she says she likes chocolates. Just put a favorite chocolate under her pillow before she goes to bed or a picnic at the beach with her favorite food. So it's actually keeping uh, you know, open to what she has to say and paying close attention to her. Well, Keegan and I had a wonderful time riding on the beach and now it's off to our next stop. One of the perks of being a television presenter is that I get to meet many interesting people. My second guest for today is the first runner-up of Mr. India South Africa, Niran Gavinder. One of Niran's role models is Richard Branson and he also happens to be a pilot. Now Niran, are you ready? Do you have your aviators handy? Kajal, I'm Top Gun ready. Oh ho ho, Top Gun ready. Let's do this. To the other seats. No, you stay right there. Okay, cool. The helicopter is the perfect way for a pair of lovebirds to find their wings. It's amazing, like, being from Joburg, I've never seen Durban from this perspective, so it's incredible, it really is. Sure, you can fly around the world on your tablet or desktop, but it just isn't the same as seeing the real-life landmarks slipping beneath your feet. Durban was amazing up there, but I think it's time we get some ice cream. I think that's a great idea. The view from the helicopter was absolutely spectacular, and Durban has just been voted as one of the seven wonder cities, and I can see why. On a day like this, there's nothing better than ice cream on the beach run. Yes. <laughs> now, what is your idea for a romantic getaway or a romantic night out? I think anything candlelit just brings romance into the air and it would definitely be, in my opinion, the best way to be romantic. Gliding through serene waters and canals with baroque buildings as your backdrop reminds me of a beautiful song, Kuda Jane, shot in Venice. Now would you believe me if I told you that we have our very own canal and gondola rides right here in Durban? Let me show you and I'm going to introduce you to Mr. India South Africa, Israr Osman. Israr. 
Hi, Kajal. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's so lovely that you could join me today. Well, this is exciting. Ladies first. Thank you. Thank you very much. We may be a long way from Venice, but there's nothing more romantic than a gondola ride for two. Sorry, you are Mr. India, South Africa. What does it feel like? It's an amazing feeling. Um, I can't really put it into words. I, nice. I've met so many amazing people on this journey, um, and I feel that I've grown so much as well. Did you know that there was a gondola ride available here in Durban? I had no idea. <laughs> it's really lovely. Tell me, what do you think of Durban as a romantic getaway spot? It's perfect. Really? The, with the ocean and the warm breeze in the evenings and it's really lovely for walks on the beach and picnics on the beach. So I'd say it's a lovely destination for uh, any couple. Thank you. Well, Isfar, you've been on a gondola ride in Venice. Yes. What did you think of this? It's lovely. Anyone that comes to Durban should definitely check it out. Well, I think so too. And on that note, I think it's the perfect time for a cocktail. Yeah, oh, that's a lovely idea. <laughs> Let's go. The harbour may not be your first choice for a tryst, but Kajal knew precisely where to be shaken and stirred. After that beautiful gondola ride, Israr and I have decided to have cocktails on Durban's largest luxury floating restaurant. Behind the bar, there's water, water everywhere, and plenty of nice things to drink. Cheers. Cheers. After today's romantic adventures, I hope you're inspired to plan something special with your significant other. And on that note, bon voyage. <laughs>